Hey, hey, hey. All right, um, so we are back. There's a chance that today's video might actually end up being uh, kind of short. Um, so pretty much finished Blood Island. Uh, but I might do the beginnings of the next part, just depending on how long things take. But let's have a chat with this mysterious figure. Oops. Who are you? I... I am the lost Welshman. Ooh. I am the ferryman between here and Skull Island. Fancy. Trapped for so very long in the icy ocean mists. Oh, how I hate that blasted mist. Really? I like mist. I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty. Well, sure, mist is pretty. But egad, is it dull. Um, uh, that's enough. I'd like a ride out to Skull Island, please. I will risk these rough waters no more. For too long have I rocked in that watery cradle of death. Freaky imagery. Whatever. Anyway, I'm not going out there again until I'm sure I can make it there safely. I need a compass. Compass, okay. How will being able to draw perfect circles get you out to Skull <laughs> Island? Not that, that kind, kind of, of compass. compass. The directional kind. Oh, Guybrush, you're so if silly. You find me one. I'll take you to Skull Island. All right. So, haven't come across a compass, but we actually do have a fairly well buried hint on compasses. It's volume C, and it's mostly digested. I can only make out page 243. A compass is a magnetized bit of metal floating in a solution. What a completely random piece of trivia. Truly, truly is. So, we have something we need first. We need this cork. Now we have a cork, which we will put on our needle so that it will flare a pin, rather, so it will float. Okay. Then we need to, oops, where'd it go? We need to magnetize it. Cool, a cork with a magnetic pin stuck in it. <laughs> the mind boggles at the possibilities. Finally, we need a solution, like salt water. It's full of seawater. And somehow it all stays in there, even though it's in his pants. And... Hey, neat, it points north. We have made a compass. Science is fun when you know the secret. <laughs> Stay in school, kids. Here, take this compass. This is a compass. Will it work? Of course. See how it points north? Wow, that's incredible. How'd you do that? Eh, it was nothing. <laughs> we'll come back to this in a bit. I'd like a ride out to Skull Island, please. All right, let's go. Whee! Through the pretty, pretty mists. It doesn't look like it's that far. Even the bravest of men must dread the horror of this place. Steal your courage, boy, now, before you gaze upon the terrible, horrible face of... 
Skull Island. <laughs> That's a duck. What are you talking about? Don't you see the skull? Clearly a skull. Clearly. This island doesn't look like a skull at all. It looks like a great, big, enormous duck. It should be called Duck Island. Now you're just being silly, Guybrush. Absolutely well, silly. you see, you, you gotta squint and sort of turn your head and... Oh, yeah. Ooh, it's just so scary. If you squint and turn your head, it looks like a bunny. Well, anyway, see that light up there on the cliff face? That's Smuggler's Cave. It's run by King Andre, the greatest smuggler in the world. And his nefarious assistant, Cruff. <laughs> Cruff. But how do I get up there? You'll have to go to the top of the cliff. Won't you be coming with me? No, you must go alone. There will be someone there who will help you. Someone very and reliable. I warn you, beware of King Andre. He is as ruthless as he is bald. I take offense to that. Thanks. Hey. What's Hello. up, buddy? Can you tell me how to find the evil smugglers of Skull Island? Beats me. Oh, wait a second. Uh, I, I think I remember something about that. The orientation seminar. Let me think. This guy seems like quite the pirate. The cave is halfway down this sheer cliff face. Climb on board this dumbwaiter. I'll, I'll, I'll lower you down. It looks pretty rickety. Are you sure it's safe? No. <laughs> Never used it before, but. I'm sure it can't be that dangerous. I'm a temp here. The, the usual elevator operator, uh, Braunbeard, uh, he's sick, so I'm filling in. Well, I guess that'll be okay. What's your name? Not Braunbeard. It's LaFoot. <laughs> All right. Would you lower me down to the smuggler's cave? Sure, sure, I can do that. You, you must weigh no more than, say, 20 pounds, right? Actually, more like 120. Still pretty light, given oh. his apparent height. Well, it can't hurt to try, right? No, you're sure about this? Oh, yeah. You don't look that heavy at all. Hmm. Is that not tied securely? Here we go. Okay, give me a little bit more slack. Oops. Okay, that's too much slack. Ah! Now, I could stop this, but I just don't want to. That's always fun. All right, let's go back up. I still say it looks like a duck. That's fair. I didn't want you to... There we go. 
Er fit le foot. Yes. Let's try that lowering me down the cliff thing again. All right. <laughs> I, I think I'm getting better at this. He's not. Please be careful this time. No problem. Here we go. I got it. I got it. I don't got it. So, what we do want to do is bust out our umbrella. And I don't remember, we're supposed to click on something? Oh, shoot. This could be problematic. Oof. I really hope I don't do this like 30 times. Yes? Do you think you'll be able to lower me down this time? All right. I, I think I'm getting better at this. I'm sure you do. Here we do. go. the inventory. Oh, wait. oh, oh, I only get so much time in the inventory. Alright. Hang on one second. I'm just gonna save some time on screen, figure this out, and then come back. Alright, be right back. Alright, so... Oops, I just... Yep, there we go. Um, so, I got it. Yes? Just clicking things in the wrong just way. Just try lowering me one more time. All right. I, I think I'm getting better at this. Here we go. Whoops. So I want to take out the umbrella. I actually have to click use umbrella. And then we will float away, gently down to Smuggler's Cove. And the sun will strike you down. Hi, the neighbors. Got any diamonds? So where's this huge diamond you guys are supposed to have? Good afternoon. Skull Island Diamond Inspector. I have got so much money, it's almost embarrassing. I have got so much money, it's almost embarrassing. Well, hello. Let's talk, Mr. Uh... Three blood. Guy wears three blood. The Chuck. Zombie pirate. <laughs> Wonton good soup. Captain Lukey. Von Gufferdavassen. Jethro Van Gufferdavassen. Well, gotta go with Wonton. Good soup. Wonton good soup. Very well, Mr. Three Ooh. How did you know my... It is my business to know who enters and leaves Skull Island. You mean Duck Island? I am King Andre, and this is my associate, Gruff. Were you looking for something in particular? The Good Soup Family Diamond. The Chuck stole it, you bought it, I want it. Now. Very firm. <sighs> Please? Sir? But we have so much quality merchandise here at the Pirates Club. Our prices get lower every day. <laughs> Everything a pirate or pirate in trading could possibly want is here. And a lot of bunnies. For the right price. <laughs> I don't get it, because you're not laughing like that. Such an odd person. 
You're evading the whole diamond issue. I'm sorry. You're evading the whole diamond issue. The Gooch Soup Diamond is the centerpiece of my collection. The fantastic energy flowing through it is the key to all my power. So, can I have it? <laughs> of course you can't have it. Unless you were to give me something in return. I have this bag of wooden nickels. Expect me to talk, you're an evil plan will never work, you're a madman, diamond belongs in the museum. Maybe we can make a deal. Well. That diamond belongs in a museum. So do post-impressionist paintings, Mr. Threepwood. Well said. So do post-impressionist paintings. Well said, twice. What the heck is that supposed to mean? One day, you will understand. I don't know if that ever pays off. Maybe we could make a deal. As you wish. You are a formidable opponent, Mr. Threepwood. But it looks as if our game of cat and mouse must cease. It is a perfect diamond, one of the largest I've ever seen. Oof, that's a nice looking diamond. I'll take it. And so it comes with a very large price. We do yeah, have a lot sell. of money. How much? It will cost you an awful lot of money. Do you have that much? Well, I have a lot of money. <laughs> Not enough. My partner is right. We can't give it to you for anything less than an awful lot of money. That seems fair. But perhaps we can make a deal. My partner and I are very fond of cards, uh, poker in particular. How about a little wager? If you can defeat us at poker, you win the diamond. Sounds fair. Yes, fair. <laughs> That seems trustworthy. Can you stop laughing like that. It's very unnerving. So, Mr. Threepwood, the question is to you. Care to join us in a game of cards? I say yes. Sounds fun. Deal me in, Baldy. You will have to pay to enter the game. Well, how much do I need? Not very much. Sure, I can handle that. This is a lot of money. I better only give them part of it. Have Good you job, ever played Guybrush. poker before, Mr. Threepwood? No. Would you believe this is my very first time? <laughs> then I'll give you a brief explanation. The game is the simplest variety of five card start. I deal five cards to each of us. We show our cards to each other, and the player with the best hand wins. Hooray! Well, how do I know what makes the best hand? If you have any questions, just ask us. You do trust us, don't you? Trust you, no chance, you filthy liar. I trust that you're both the lowest scum of society. You don't know the meaning of trust, you thief. 
I say Lois Scum. Of course I trust you. Oh, Guybrush. Very well. You're so political. Come on, seventh. Take a moment to look at your cards. Could or I could just win. So we got five of the kind here and a shitty five hand. Of kind. Right there. Not even you guys can beat five of a kind. <laughs> You're correct, Mr. Threepwood. We cannot beat five of a kind. The question remains, however, whether or not you can beat a pair. A pair? A pair of murderous smugglers. Oh. Uh -huh. I'm talking about us. We're gonna kill you. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Whether or not you can beat a pair, that's pretty clever. Now, now, gentlemen. Let's not be too hasty. There's a delivery man out here with a package. You idiot! You blew out the lights! Thanks, LeFoot. I got the diamond. Not for long, you little... Don't hit him, not me, you cretin! Who are you calling up? Got him in a sharpshooter. Got what I needed from the smugglers. Good. Let us leave this place of evil. Evil. There's just one thing I need to do first. <laughs> really? What's that? Forgot about this. Oh, <laughs> it's just you. Wait, wait, what are you doing? Help! Help! I mean, he did technically save us from them. I feel like we could have let him go. Good luck on the rest of your adventures, Guybrush. What? You can't mean... I'm afraid so. This work is too dangerous for me. I'm going to find a more stable, secure line of work. It's fair. I hear there's still an opening for a chef on Scab Island. <laughs> well, you'll be sorely missed. I know, but my destiny lies out there, somewhere. Another reference to Monkey Island 2? Beyond the rolling waves. Farewell, good friend Welshman. Oh, wait. Where'd you say Scab Island was again? East by northeast. You can't miss it. Ah, thanks a bunch. Whoops, I forgot to tell him that a magnetized pin will only have compass-like properties for a short time. Oops. Happens to the best of us. All right, so let's reconstruct our ring. It's a massive diamond engagement ring. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Not this much. Lucasart symbol at the top there, I believe. Ah, another group of recruits for my army of the undead. Now, how goes the search for my bride to be? Where's Dingy Dog? 
I found him! I found him! <laughs> yep, yep. Oh, golly, oh, gosh. Yep, yep. That's right. Uh, they're on Blood Island, sir. Get them. Uh-oh. We better move quick. Before they come and get us. Let's slip this ring on Elaine's finger. Oops. Forgot she was planning on hitting us. Elaine, are you alright? Guybrush? Where? Where are we? You're okay. We're on Blood Island. LeChuck's ring had a terrible curse on it, but I put everything right. You're safe and everything's gonna be fine. Just fine. Oops. All right, I'm going to stop things here, and we will see you next time. Bye.